good morning student welcome in your new session and this is the first lecture of your third standard of subject science and today i discuss about the first chapter from your science book that is living and non living things so before start this chapter we should some informations about the living and non living things so dear children we are see various things around us among them some are living and some are non living things so what are living things and what are non living things yes i tell you so the things which have life in them they are known as living thing and rest of all are non living things now children now i tell you what comes on living things and what comes on non living things so the example of a living things are plants animals humans birds insect this all are example of the living things and the things that have no life like chair table books sun mountain this all are non living things and now one more informations i give to you that non living things again classified into two groups one is one is man made non living things and one is natural non living things man made living non living things kaun sa hai jo the non living things which are made by man jis non living things ko insano ne banaya usko bolte hai man made non living things like house chair book car etc and the other non living things like sun mountain moon water this all things are occur naturally so there are example of non living natural non living things okay now how we can differentiate between the living things and the non living things so there are some features present in the living things so first of all we know this main features that are present in the living things so first feature is first feature is living things move yes all living things are move because the animals human beings and birds all move from one place to another for searching their food their shelter and their regular needs but non living things are do not move by their own okay now the next feature of the living things is living things need food and water the food and water is more important for all of us that means all of us means all living beings because without food and water we cannot survive food give us energy and food help us to grow so all living things are by nature they are grow okay so for that all living things need food and water so children underline this all features this features are important to for define all living things so all living things need food and water to live human plants and animals cannot survive without food and water the food we eat why we eat food yes the food we eat help us to grow 
human beings eat different type of foods okay some human beings or another animals live a uh, food eat only the other animal face flesh so they are known the carnivorous animals but some animals like human beings or uh, fox or uh, uh, dog they eat both plant products and as well as the animal products so this kind of animal is known as the omnivorous and some animals eat only plant products they are known as herbivorous okay now we are go to the next features of the living things so the next feature of the living things are yes living things grow yes so the next feature is the living things grow this is also important features for living things all living things grow a little baby grows into a see the picture here a child when a boy or girl born they are very little they are known as the child but after a time after going a time they grow into a small boy then after some time they grow into a man and at last they grow into an old man this process is known as a life cycle and all living things has their own life cycle okay now the another example of this a chick comes out of egg and grows into a hen see this picture the hen lays egg and when the egg is cracked they comes into a chick and when the chick is grow they come in a hen okay so this is the example of animal growing and this picture shows into the how the plant grows from seed to a big plant so the plant grow from a seed a big plant this is the life cycle of a plant okay now the ne another next features of a living things living things breathe this is also important feature for a living things all living things breathe in and out they need air to breathe they things cannot survive without air okay plants are also living things but all of you say that plants cannot move so how is plant are uh, considered as a living things yes plants cannot move by their own but plants showing the movement by moving their parts of the plants okay when the air is blowing their branches are moving plants also breath in carbon dioxide when they make a food by the process of photosynthesis because plant also need the food for survive so for this some features we consider plant as a living things okay they can cannot live without air plants breathe at night okay now human and some animals 
like monkey have lungs to breathe animals like fish have gills this is this portion is known as gills and by this organ fish breathe in and breathe out and plants breathe through the pores called stomata in the leaves see this picture this is the stomata and this stomata present in the under surface of the leaf and by this parts of the plant plants take breathe in and out this portion is known as stomata okay and the next feature is living things feel okay we all living things have a sense organ and by this sense organ we all can feel for example i say that all human beings during the winter time we feel cold and that time we wear the sweater why we feel cold because we have a sense organs like this the plants example the touch me not plants when if anyone touch this plant so this plant is shrink okay this plants fold their leaves because they have also the have a sense organ so children today i discuss only about up to this features okay so all living things can feel living things feel with the help of their sense organ what i am saying already on feeling the prick of a needle this is the example we pull away our hand quickly like humans animals also feel a dog barks when you hurt him when the dog how the do why the dog barks because they have a feeling okay plants also feel a touch me not plant this is the very important thing so all of you must be underlined this a touch me not plant fold its leaves when someone touch it okay now so up to here all of you learn this chapter and i hope this lecture to this lecture helps all of you to understand this portion okay and if anyone say how you differentiate between the living things and non living things so you can only add do not word with this feature like this living things feel but non living things do not feel living things move but non living things do not move living things breathe non living things do not breathe so like this way all of you differentiate between the living things and the non living things okay thank you students have a good day bye bye